he's still going to send you to hell. He just waters it down and swings it enough so that you don't care. Dozens auditioned. Six of them are still in the race, but only one of them can be America's next president. You can pick a lot worse a candidate. I've never been a very tactful person. Then I say you were my friend? We're all God's children. I'm ready to get this political party started. There are a lot of folks who aren't happy in this nation. Interns, candies, doesn't matter. Who makes you think I'm gay? Oh my God. I'm running because God told me to do so. Earlier this week, Thomas Matthews and Robert Gage won the business competition with their miraculous Jesus, lemonade Jesus, stand Jesus, and Jesus, saved themselves Jesus, from elimination. Jesus, now, Jesus, the other candidates Jesus, nervously Jesus, await the results of the vote. Jesus. Candidates, we finished tallying up the votes. And I can tell you now, the two lowest vote getters are Richard Lee and Garfield Leonard. However, the two of you are safe. It looks like there's been another violation of our rules. And another contestant is up for elimination this week. Paula McDonald, please step forward. Were you, or were you not, the person who prepared the brownies for your stand? Yes, I did. By your own hand? Yep. Well, We've had some complaints from your customers. Have you ever wondered, I mean, really wondered what the world would be like if it was just like a video game? I mean, we would have health points. Because of the nature of some of the complaints regarding your brownies, we had to send samples to a lab and had them chemically analyzed. We got the results back today. And they confirmed our suspicions that your brownies were laced with artificial sweetener. Shame on you, demon scum! Paula, I'm afraid you've been disqualified. It's time for you to make your concession speech. Bummer, man. Just think how far out it would be marijuana was legalized in America. Lower prices, better quality control, less crime on the streets, not to mention all the tax benefits from sales. And imagine all the groovy industrial uses for hemp, man. It's not until we get rid of the stigma attached to advocates of legalization that we'll ever have a serious discussion on drug policy in this country. I'm just bummed, man, that I let all the people who believe in me down. But hey, I got more votes than Ron Paul, so I'm stoked. All right. Paula McDonald, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to miss her. Some of us. You guys dodged a bullet this week. Now, we're going to take some time to do some serious checking and examine the rules of this contest. But don't get too complacent. Because in the end, only one of you can become America's next president. See you next week. The results confirmed our suspicions that your brownies were laced with crystal meth.